The Shellfish Project at the Division of Marine Fisheries monitors water quality in shellfish areas. Water quality monitoring is required by federal regulation. Part of this requirement involves the location, identification, quantification, and correction of pollution point sources. This video will demonstrate how a smoke machine is used to locate direct sources of pollution entering storm drains and other pipes that normal methods cannot see. Neil Churchill, a Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries Biologist, will demonstrate how to set up and run the smoke machine. Block off the end of the pipe as best as possible, then start the machine and allow it to warm up. A small tip to keep in mind would be to take out and run the machine prior to using in the field. This will ensure the equipment will operate efficiently on the day of smoke testing. After starting the smoke release, you can see by the escaping smoke that the seal at the end of the pipe is not the best. Therefore, the operator will have to make constant adjustments to help contain the smoke. Although the seal is not perfect, you can still see large amounts of smoke exiting the drain. The use of an appropriate cover is important as seen by the amount of escaping smoke. A better example will be shown later. The use of safety gear is important for operators' protection and comfort. Earmuffs for noise protection and a respirator for breathing. Goggles would also be useful. Here we will see the use of the smoke machine at a manhole. The plastic tarp is used to block one of the two pipes entering the manhole. This allows for better control over the direction of the smoke flow. A long plastic pole is used to place the tarp. Therefore, you avoid entering the confined space, which is another safety concern. The round cover and sandbags are used to help weight the cover to the manhole, forming a tighter seal. Traffic cones are also important for safety. The operator can adjust the airflow rate from the fan and the smoke release rate separately. Two things to take notice in this clip are, one, the machine in front of the red van is capable of pushing smoke over long distances, and two, the smoke is emanating from only the far storm drains. Although not obvious, this situation is one of the reasons why smoke testing is done. You can see the smoke coming out of the storm drain and also from the manhole. Paul Somerville will use the rubber mat to completely seal off the drain. This is the preferred type of seal over the storm drains. In the background, you will now see the smoke coming out of two more drains. As you cover more drains, the smoke is forced further down the pipe in order to find the next escape point. If the pipe outfall is in a bad location, you can block off the pipe by using plastic tarps, sandbags, tuna balls, or other material. When you are faced with the problem of fitting a round peg into a square hole, a carpet pad cut to fit will solve this problem. A very important consideration 
prior to doing a smoke test in any town is to contact the local police and fire officials. This is because the amount of smoke produced can be very visible and cover whole streets. Also, it is important to warn town officials because it is not unusual to witness smoke emanating from strange places like a street sign. This example shows there is a breach in the storm drain system on this street, which is another reason why smoke tests are done. Smoke tests are conducted to identify illegal discharges into storm drains and other pipes, which can cause contamination of shellfish areas. Uncorrected contamination will result in a closure of these areas. Some examples of illegal discharges identified through this method include illegal connections from home septic systems to storm drains, some pump overflow, gray water discharges, which are discharges from washing machines and dishwashers, cross connections between storm drains and sewer systems, and roof drains illegally connected to storm pipes. A side benefit of smoke testing to town management is the mapping of storm drain systems and identification of problems within the systems. Smoke testing with this machine has been used to locate pollution sources in the following towns. Barnstable, Cohasset, Dartmouth, Duxbury, Kingston, Marion, Nantucket, and Plymouth. This is just some of the equipment which was used for smoke testing in this video. Each piece of equipment has a specific use. The round cover receives the tube from the smoke machine and is used when smoke is pumped into manholes. The pipe reducer is used for smaller diameter pipes and the plug is used to isolate pipes for separate testing. The air tank, the regulator, and the fittings are all used for inflating tuna balls or inner tubes to seal off various diameter pipes. The smoke machine generates smoke out the flexible tube using individual canisters, which are purchased separately. Shovels are used to clear pipes and to fill sandbags. Crowbars are used for lifting the manholes. A safety vest should be worn at all times, especially when working on streets. The earmuffs, the goggles, and the respirator are used for protection against the smoke and noise coming from the machine. A screwdriver set is important if repairs are needed to the machine. Duct tape is great for just about anything, especially if a plastic tarp is torn. The caution tape helps warn people that work is being done and they should stay clear of the area. And finally, sandbags and rubber mats are used to seal off the storm drain.